The coronavirus is the biggest threat this country has faced for decades. The sports world rocked by the coronavirus. Mission complicated became mission impossible. All postponed. This is only the start, but there's a storm coming. Is this going to change rugby forever? The sporting world has come to a halt as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. With the world on lockdown, the rugby community is facing the impact of this invisible killer. The stands are empty and the pitches are overgrown. These stadiums used to be filled with cheering crowds every week, but now the only cheering we hear is at 8pm on a Thursday when the nation claps to the NHS. With the government enforcing strict social distancing measures, rugby fixtures across the nation have been cancelled. Could you explain why that was put in place? Because if everyone was meeting up in big groups as a rugby game, you can't be two metres apart. All the seats are very close together. When you're queuing up, you're going to be close. Then more people are going to get the virus. More people are going to need to come into hospital. And the doctors and nurses and other healthcare professionals aren't going to be able to cope with that many people needing support. As lockdown restrictions ease, several sports have returned to our screens. But why hasn't rugby? You've got to reduce, effectively, you know, that close contact time, which obviously is a part of rugby. The scrum, you're looking at an average of 11 minutes per match. And if you look at the World Health Organization guidelines, close contact in terms of a risk is defined as 15 minutes or more. So, so you can work within those parameters um, pretty easily, but we're certainly looking at, at how we reduce uh, that exposure. So if the close contact nature of rugby is still considered a risk, it is uncertain when the sport will return. Throughout the series, I will speak to members of the rugby community to see how they're coping without any rugby at all. It's a bit of a worry, but hopefully, you know, the main thing is everybody's staying safe. It's still to quantify the, the impact that will have. The world has never been so distant yet so connected. It's annoying that we have to be this, but it can be, it can be much, much worse. But the big question is, how great an impact will the coronavirus have on rugby union as a whole?